and to let her know as one person who's lost a spouse to another that God gives you the grace when you need it. Not before that, but he will help you through each every time. Jerry always pulled pranks, and I always fell for them. He, <laughs> he said to me, would you like a kiss? And I was contemplating. <clears throat> Finally, I said, okay. Uh, then he pulls out this chocolate kiss. <laughs> so it felt like, okay, pie in my face. So anyway, he was always doing some kidding, so I just had to laugh, and I had to say that one, because I'm sure he pulled that on most of you. <laughs> yeah, okay. The church is Yenta. Um, he went always with the college kids. He could tell when there was a spark between them, and uh, boy, he would be merciless. He would uh, really uh, embarrass them, and I remember a number of couples that uh, Jerry uh, had an impact on, and I don't know, he, he personally claimed that he, he brought them together. But, uh, <laughs> and I know many of you have these, but uh, this is kind of how I'm going to remember Jerry. Uh, he turned a lot of pens, and um, I don't know, it's kind of special. So that guy was amazing. <laughs> Evelyn may or may not remember this, but early in our membership here, kids were little. I think maybe Courtney was born. I don't even know if Morgan was here yet, but it was early on in our uh, membership here. And we were at Kmart on Hubble shopping for Christmas, I think. And Jerry and Evelyn were there and they kind of walked around the corner. Oh, hey, we know you. Yeah, we know you. And Jerry peeled off a couple of $20 bills and said, buy the kids something for Christmas. Wow. That's sweet. Dan, I, I, I couldn't echo that anymore, but I think my daughter was one of those that uh, uh, he helped put together. Uh, and like you, I still have the pen. Two of the great memories of us, uh, the spark that he would have with young people and uh, his pens in his workshop. And it was just, the irony was that I was thinking this summer, like, as soon as this stuff gets over with, I'm going to have Jerry teach me how to do those pens. Mm -hmm. Jerry asked me if I wanted to kiss, too. <laughs> I think he asked all the girls that, but um, I, it, I did figure it out. So I think, I don't know, I might have heard about it before. But I do remember that, and because she's not here, I'm going to tell it. Um, the one he got the most cringing result response from was Kara's. Mm. So she's... Okay. <laughs> okay, Jerry's been one of our family for quite a while. Uh, he helped Bob on his shop that he bought when we moved the company. He's been to our house a lot of times. He made pens and separate things for kids and grandkids. And uh, him and, and his, Evelyn went to school with my sister, so we've known him for quite a while. And we loved him like family. And praying for Evelyn. Amen. Thanks. I too have several pins that uh, Jerry made. Um, I got an idea the other day, oh, it's two or three weeks ago, that uh, collect all the pins that he's given us. And I made a holder for all of them together. Hmm. And my dad and, uh, and him were about the same age and both had been married for my folks have been married for 65 years. I think he's married for 66 years. So he, my dad's uh, always been a prankster, kind of like Jerry. So I know what uh, what that does for a family and what that does for a, a church family. I can always appreciate the love that he had for everybody here, the love he had for kids. And Jerry was Jer um, very um, artificial, non-artificial, I should say. He always said what was on his mind, whether it was perfect or not. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, he, a lot of times the laugh, laugh was on him, but he took it with a grain of salt, like when he had one brown shoe on and one <laughs> black shoe on, all at the same time. But we'll miss you, Jerry, and uh, we look forward to the day we get to see you again. Amen. Yeah, the brown shoe, black shoe, that was two weeks in a row. We, that was just this month. Boy, so many people got a laugh out of that. And, and he didn't care. He laughed right along with us. So I also have to have a kiss story, except for, um, I think it was right before Jerry asked me if I wanted a kiss. We had been talking to Mark Boyd, and he had told me how Jerry had asked Leslie if he could give her a kiss on their wedding day. And 
she had said, well, yeah, I guess. And he actually kissed her on the lips. And Evelyn, of course, thought that was just ridiculous. <laughs> so Mark had just shared that story with us, and Jared came up to me on a Sunday night and said, would you like a kiss? And I said, no, no, I wouldn't. And then he held out the chocolate kiss. But it was just, he always had um, a way of bringing a smile to people's faces. And I remember when we first started here, thinking that he was kind of gruff on the outside and a little intimidating. But as you got to know him, you got to see how what a soft heart he had and how much he really cared for everyone here and the children. And um, he made the beautiful woodwork out in our foyers that say welcome. And, you know, I think it's just really special that one of the first things people see when they come into our church is something that Jerry made. And I think most of you did not know that. Only Megan knew that. And the reason was because I... I knew Jerry did wood, and we wanted something beautiful in front of our church, and so I asked him if he would do that, and he said, I'd be glad to, but I want it to be anonymous. Don't tell anybody, and uh, so I think it's time to tell other people. We're thankful for so many things that he made and something that's uh, right in the front of our church at both entrances. So thankful for that. It is possible that I've known Jerry and his wife longer than any of you. He was going to the chapel where a friend of mine pastored years ago, near, near here actually, um, up on the, off East 14th, and uh, I've always appreciated their friendship and their fellowship. I think we all agreed that he had a, a, a very hard shell and a very soft core. <laughs> Last time before I went to Germany a year ago, he asked me if my relatives or friends would like some of his pens. And I said, of course they would. They certainly love it. How many? Well, I said, not to be too extravagant, I said, 10. So a couple of weeks later, he gave me a box of 25 and refused my payment. So I appreciate Jerry for what he was and what he did. Take you back to Cobra. Everybody says that Jerry was funny. Well, he was, but there's times that he wasn't. He, he really fixed me one time, I learned. He was sitting in the foyer, and uh, I, I might have said something like, that girl has funny looking shoes, doesn't she, Jerry? Jerry jumped up and went up to her and said, John says you have funny looking <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> different I can be than anything else and you know I always appreciated Jerry and, and Evelyn and uh, we love you and uh, but Jerry would always come up and say something about standing next to perfect and uh, I not get it quite right but anyway that's good and he did remind me that the, one of the pins that he gave him the last was from uh, one of the uh, Metacronics uh, mm -hmm. buildings yeah. and so that was really special mm -hmm. and uh, I Told John to share that for him. So, anyway. Like everyone else, Jerry gave me a pen, but it was not just any old pen. It was a teacher's pen. And it was a red pen on one side for gritty papers and then black on the other hmm. side. Uh, as we've all said, he was a jokester, but he did have a soft heart. More than once, and maybe he's told you, uh, most of you about this too, more than once he told me about his son-in-law, how he was the best son-in-law in the world. And he would come over to Jerry's house all the time and mow his lawn, uh, shovel his sidewalks, um, sh uh, shovel the driveway also. And uh, when Justin and Daniel Fermaro first started coming to our church, uh, Jerry and Evelyn saw fit that Justin would have some Christmas presents. So they gave me some money and I went with Justin and, and went Christmas shopping with him. It was a great time and I so much appreciate you right now. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne Clan Squirrel, I love you. I love Dalton. I miss you very much. I think of you guys every day. 
praying for you every night in my prayers.